Okay, so we are up to day 174. I like this quote already because I've been more into like nature and the moon cycles and things like that. So the quote for today says, live by the sun, love by the moon. Describe your relationship with the sun and moon. Do either have an impact on your life? So if you're following along, just take a minute to think about how you might respond and let's see what I wrote. <laughs> I don't know if I was in, like, I went through this phase last year of, like, getting into trying to uh, follow the moon cycles a little bit more closely and things like that just to feel a little bit more connected to the universe. So I wonder if I was into that during this. So let's see. Yes. Okay, so I said, I've recently started to connect a bit more with the natural world. I started paying attention to the lunar cycles and attempting to use them for goal setting in my life. Yeah, so I was starting, so the beginning of last year, it was like the new moon was lining up with the first of the month for like the first four months of the year. And so I was like, okay, this is cool because I'd come across some things about using the moon to set goals. So with the new moon, it's like your new start. You like have your goals. And then you kind of like follow throughout the moon cycles, like the first quarter moon, the full moon, um, and then the third quarter moon. And then at the end, you would see kind of like how far you came over the month. And I thought that was like pretty cool just as a way to kind of like track your progress. Um, I mean, the other way would be like set a goal at the beginning of the month, which would be kind of similar, but I liked how this was more connected to something going on aside from just like, just the, the months. Um, but anyway, I said, I like the sun, but I feel like I have a stronger connection to the moon. Yeah, and I can't explain that. I just feel that way, I don't know. I said, I even feel drawn to colors that are typically associated with the moon, like blue or purple. Um, I've never been a huge fan of bright colors like yellow, orange, or red. I do love bright natural light though but I like to experience it more indoors in the shame shade rather than directly. So yeah, like I love like a bright, well-lit room, but I don't necessarily like direct sun, I guess. Um, as far as the moon, sometimes I feel a strong connection to it, sometimes not as strong. Um, I said like tonight is a new moon. Sometimes when a new moon is coming up, I get excited for it and I want to spend the day leading up to it planning goals and setting up a little ritual to help establish those goals. Um, but I said right now I'm not feeling as inspired to do that. Either way, I do hope to expand my connection more with nature in the future. So yeah, but again, maybe that goes back to my hormones. Maybe some of the months like my hormone cycle was lining up with the new moon so it felt like it just worked like setting my goals and everything was just made sense at that time um and then there were other times that i was just kind of like eh, new moon's coming up like whatever let me try to set these goals and just not really feeling as into it so i don't know i kind of fell fallen off of that like trying to stay connected with the moon or whatever but um I guess I do feel a stronger connection to the moon and this is gonna sound weird because I am like analytic and I don't really believe in like the astrology and stuff like that but a part of me wants to like a part of me wants it to like be there um but something weird like did happen um this past I don't know if it was last was it last weekend whenever the full moon was for the, for this month um I think it was January 6th and like I was just feeling like anxious and just weird and just like strange and like like something just felt weird and I didn't even connect it to like the full moon but um my roommate was feeling kind of weird too he's like things feel kind of like weird and it was like in the couple days before that and um on the day of the full moon my roommate was just like is something going on like the energy just feels so weird right now and I was like oh my gosh it's a full moon like maybe we're feeling some full moon energy or something so like I don't know like because I hadn't thought about that but when he said it I was like maybe I 
I don't know. And then I like, I have this like astro astrology podcast that I listen to like off and on some. And we were listening to like the astrology podcast one morning on the way to the gym. And uh, the guy was talking about how like all of these planets have been in retrograde and there's about to go direct and so you know I don't know I start thinking like maybe there is something with energy and the planets and the moon like I don't know but yeah like Mars went retrograde thing, or it went direct the other day and Mercury's in retrograde till the end of the month so maybe the fact that I've been feeling off for the past month or two could be Mercury retrograde like I don't know but I know that sounds stupid but who knows really like I don't know and I I feel like I I feel like over the past few years the more I've been like researching things everything seem keeps leading me towards like energy not in like not just like if you're looking at it like in the astrology sense or whatever but just in general like I came across grounding a while back and that makes sense to me like the guy um there's this uh documentary and book from this guy i can't remember what his name was but um i think the documentary is called earthing and i watched it and i was like that's interesting because some of the stuff he is talking about kind of makes intuitive sense that you know we were barefoot for a lot of human history and it makes sense that connecting to the earth with your bare feet could have some effect on your body and like he would take people with like these voltmeters and have them stand like on the ground with their shoes on and hold this voltmeter and then take their shoes off and stand barefoot and hold it and it would change and I tried it myself and I'm like it does like your energy like changes so that could have some effect on you like just being barefoot and being like connected with nature and you know they say that like gardening makes people feel happy like being at the beach um you know or things where you're in water um because water conducts electricity you know better than other um than the ground and stuff and so I'm like I don't know if it does but it seems to make sense and then I just took this class on environmental dynamics and we learned about the sun and how you know basically all the energy I mean there's some energy that's made in the core but the almost all the energy comes from the sun and I'm just like I don't know I don't know like and like our whole like everything we've evolved so quickly once we figured out how to harness energy in different ways and you know like fossil fuels and things like that um so I don't know I don't believe believe in astrology or all parts of it but maybe maybe the moon does have some effect I don't know um, but yeah, like for whatever reason, I feel more connected to the moon than the sun. My roommate is a Leo and he feels a stronger connection to the sun. Like he is like, I don't know, like I know, <laughs> like a Leo describes his personality, like the things that they say like are for a Leo, like seem, do seem to be pretty on point with him. And we actually did this, uh, I came across this new thing. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I came across it on TikTok. Some, somebody talking about like human design and it's like advanced. Um, like if you're into astrology, it seems like a higher level of that. Like it seems like they combine, I just spent like an hour looking into it, but it seems like they combine astrology and numerology and like all of these different things together into one thing and so I'm like let me just put in my uh my birth date and all that stuff and see what comes up for me and I asked my roommate I'm like when were you born and I put his stuff in there too and um I mean some of this stuff was strangely strangely accurate um especially like there's this one part called your environment and 
I'm talking about this, I can't even remember. I can't remember what my environment was, but it was like pretty on point. But his I remember specifically because his environment was markets. And the lady, the video I watched talking about like people that have that environment, it's like about money and wanting to be around money and finances and things like that. And he is like all obsessed with that. But it seems like a lot of men are, so I don't know, maybe a lot of people could fall into that, but I remember our environment part was pretty on point. And I guess, I think it said I'm a manifesting generator and he's a generator and those descriptions kind of seemed on point. So I don't know. I would love to do a study to put some data to this. Like I've kind of searched for this and I haven't found it because I'm like, all you would have to do to try to answer these questions as to re whether like your astrological sign and the time you were born has an effect on your personality or whatever is have people do a personality test and find out when they were born and see like, is there a correlation, like one regression analysis and see. And then if I could do that, if I could look, collect data on that, um, then I could like believe it or not believe it. Um, but until I see the data, I'm gonna say, I don't know. Maybe one of these days, like if I get a big enough following, I would love to be able to, to collect data from people to answer some of these questions. Like I would love to be like, hey guys, take this survey and I'll do an analysis on this and see see what comes out. So maybe one of these days, maybe I'll, I'll collect some data on it and then I can have a, a better idea. But as far as I could see, as far as I, I, there was one day like a couple years ago, like I did a search, I'm like, is astrology real? Like surely somebody's done a study where they check these different personality traits versus people's birth dates and things like that. But I couldn't find it. Um, but I think it would be interesting for somebody to do that. But anyway, <laughs> that's what I have to say about the sun and the moon. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for day 175.